So I saw on my calendar that Earth Day was on the way and I felt compelled to do a little painting of our sweet, sweet Mama Earth. So I made this really quick oil painting. It's really just a sketch, it only took me an hour. So I mixed up some earthy colors, some blues, some greens, some whites, some tans. And I started out by tracing the bottom of a cup to get that perfect circle. And then I outlined that circle with a little bit of a light blue so I can get a kind of glow to the earth. Maybe the light's kind of catching on the edges a little bit. I decided to hand sketch in the shapes of the land masses. So they're not very geographically correct because <laughs> I'm not a map maker, but they're pretty dang close. And I filled those in with some green colors, greener in the areas that are along the equator. And then I took my blues and I started carefully filling in around my land masses. And I decided to take a slightly darker blue on the bottom to try and give this globe some dimension to show that light is hitting more in the center and kind of shadows around the edges. And then for my reference photo that I used, there was a lot of clouds and swirly uh, atmospheric stuff happening and so I took some light blue and added it mostly to the top as like a foundation for the clouds that I was gonna put on and then I did a quick little brush out with this soft brush to get everything blended in nice so it looks like a nice smooth flat globe and then I took a nice little thin detail brush and I started adding in some of the details of my water, adding a little more lighter blue in areas where I know the water's a little bit shallower, around Florida, around the Gulf of Mexico, some of those areas. And then I took that same color and I started to tap in my first layer of these little cloud formations that are all over our earth. I'm taking this light blue at first and then I'm gonna start to add lighter blues, almost white, on top of it to get this textured look to show there's more density in the clouds that are lighter, but there's still some less dense and more um, thin, maybe, <laughs> clouds that are below it. The, the I wanna show that there's different layers happening with these cloud formations, these little swirling storms that are happening all over. So you can see me taking a very light blue here. It looks like it might be white, but it's actually white mixed up with one of our ocean blue colors. Adding a couple details to our land masses, just a couple. Whatever I feel like is still kind of missing and that I want to accentuate and highlight. And then once again, I take my soft brush and I just carefully start to blend out everything. Here, I'm starting to do the outside of the earth but then I decided that I wanted to go in with a couple more details, making sure that I have enough contrast that I want on the cloud. So I think this might be pure white that I'm going in here, highlighting extra some of those cloud areas that I really want to pop, that I really want to show up. And I'm, this is a very slow process and I'm kind of just like tapping the little edge of my brush to get these tiny, tiny little cloud bits, blending everything out. And then now I'm starting the background, whatever is behind our globe, the actual like space that the globe sits in. And I'm starting by surrounding the entire earth with a lighter blue. And then I'm also taking, it's not light blue, obviously, it's a dark blue, but you're gonna see that the main color is gonna be very, very dark. Um, and then I'm adding a couple little like wiggly, curvy lines just to kind of get a really interesting, almost galaxy-like look to our background here. Then I'm taking my super dark blue. This is ultramarine mixed up with some red and some yellow. There's no black in this, no black at all. Just a very, very, very dark blue. And I filled that in all the areas that I didn't put my little curvy lines and then I brush it out real nice so that it's looking really blended. And you can see it kind of looks like there's a glow around the earth because of that light blue that I put around it originally. And now I start to go in with a couple little dots, some bigger dots. And what I'm gonna do here is blend these out to give them like a distant kind of galaxy swirly kind of effect. I blended it in like a circular direction. 
And then I go in and I take my detail brush and put in all the little stars I want, keeping them nice and small, adding some little diamond shapes until I have a nice, beautiful night sky for a little earth to sit in. I hope you have a happy Earth Day. Be kind to our mother, gentle, recyclable. Go look at a tree. Be grateful to her. I'll see you in the next video.